ask. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So this, like, this it seems like a silly question, but I know that somebody, one of you guys knows the answer. How do I save the link for this Zoom, like in my Zoom thing, so that it's that, so I don't have to go onto Facebook and find a post that had the link that I can click it. Like, is there a way to save it in my Zoom thing? So it's just like a frequently frequent meeting thing. Um, I don't know about that. It is for me, but I'm the host of the link, and it's the link that I created. So what I do. Um, in case I need to send it to one of you guys, I just have it on a note on my phone. I just okay. have like it copied and pasted and a note in my phone. And then I can just go to that specific note and pull it really quickly. Good deal. Good deal. But let me that's see. A, um, that's, that's a good enough workaround until, uh, until we know. Okay. I always, yeah, that's I a good question. I personally go and look for it on Facebook. I just find it. And then I have the password written down and I just log in. So I've always just found the post in Facebook. Yeah, that's what I've been doing too, but I didn't know if there was just an easy way to like open up Zoom and be like, oh, my frequent meetings or, you know, if there was like a thing or a, a setting to make this a favorite or something. You guys are my favorites. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the note will work just fine. Yeah, it's it's an easy access. And actually, I keep a lot of stuff in my notes, like um, like the customer service number and just like anything that I might need, like on the fly, um, the link for our group, like all of that stuff. So um, I, I uh, without playing around with it, I'd have to have somebody else send me their link for me to like see from like your perspective. Does that make sense? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, like I, mean, I said, that's that's a good enough workaround for me that'll that'll just make me like I just wanted to save those 45 seconds that it takes to go into Facebook, find the girl, you know, this efficiency. I get it. Nope, I get it. I get it. <laughs> like, look, I make so many Instagram stories now that my life is broken down into 15 second chunks. <laughs> like, like, oh, so I have to budget my time. <laughs> welcome to being a mom. <laughs> Cause literally it's what it's like. You are just like so regimented and have to have everything together all the time. <laughs> um, okay. So let me just read in the chat. So there's so many others that are health coaches and I get in my head that they don't want to hear from me. Well, oh, I'm going to feel the slapping coming across the screen. Stop it. You guys, there are a lot of coaches. And there are a lot of other MLMs that offer different things for weight loss or whatever, right? That are maybe fitness, nutrition um, based. Please bear with me because my brain, guys, it's almost nine. So remember my brain's been up since 3.50, it's shutting down. So if I kind of stumble, just bear with me. We will get there eventually. <laughs> um, but you guys, you are like, even the coaches in the network, let's say with Beachbody alone, and you're not, you're not looking at anybody else. You're not looking at anything else that's offered. You have a unique story. We are all different. Like we are the difference. People can go buy Beachbody wherever they want. They can go get it from an infomercial or from Carl talking about it on the radio and just get paired with a coach who nine times out of 10 doesn't even connect with them because they maybe don't even know that that's that coach doesn't even know that they get customers. So you have to, you like, you just can't give that any energy. You can't because you're going to make yourself crazy and you're going to get in that comparison game. And you're going to think, well, she's better than me or she's doing this. So maybe I should do that. Bullshit. Don't get caught in the game. If I were comparing myself to everybody else. Okay. Let's rewind a little bit. I used to, I used to do that. And I used to be like, Oh, I should be here. I should be there. I should, I've been a coach for this many years. I should already be here. I should already be there. Quit give it, quit looking for the, the validation for why you aren't where you want to be yet. You aren't where you want to be yet because you're stuck in comparing and looking at everybody else instead of just doing the damn thing. And that's the God honest truth. Okay. I was stuck in that loop for a really long freaking time. And that's why at nine years as a coach, I finally hit two star. Our team finally started to grow because you know what? 
last year in July, when Kate, Mindy, and I all linked arms, I got out of my fucking head. Okay? Don't do that to yourself. Because you're going to be discouraged. And you're going to wonder why. There is no secret. It's showing up. It's being authentic to who you are. It's what's in your heart. Like, who do you want to help? right? Identify who you want to connect with. Who are your people? And just start speaking to them. Who gives a shit what other people think, or if other people like or comment or engage on your stuff? Because if you reach one person, one person, that's all it takes, you guys, is us connecting with one person at a time, because that's a life changed. And that starts to empower you. It empowers them. And I'm telling you that it's addicting when you start to connect with the right people. It's fun. You don't care about what everybody else is doing. You don't care if it took you nine years to hit two star. You don't care that you've been a coach for four years. You don't care that you maybe have been halfway to Emerald for the last year. It doesn't fucking matter. Because you're focused on serving rather than hitting the milestones. Okay. Don't get caught up in what everybody else is doing. Beachbody is so freaking unique. And our team specifically and Meg's team, who we are very closely linked with, are so unique in the sense that it is not about the money. It is not about the rank. It is not about the, the recognition from corporate. It genuinely is about serving other people. It's about being our best first and showing other women that they can do it too. And when you step into that truth and you focus on that, the rest falls into place. It doesn't matter the timeline. If you listen to Rachel Hollis or even Mel Robbins, it doesn't freaking matter what the timeline is. If you are serving your purpose, you are filled with joy and happiness and you are fulfilled. And that's all that freaking matters. And that's what attracts our people. They are attracted to that vibe. They see what you're doing. We can't just talk about living our best life. I'm working out. I'm doing my nutrition. I'm drinking this shake and I'm living my best life. But inside we're like crushed and we're not fulfilled and we're not happy. Guess what they feel and guess what they see? Even though we're typing this beautifully articulated post that says all the beautiful things, but if we're dying inside, that's the energy they're getting. And I promise you that no matter how much you smile, they see right through it. So tap into your mission, tap into your purpose. And that takes work, you guys, I'm not going to lie. That takes work. You've got to work through whatever those limiting beliefs are that you're struggling with, whatever those words that you're saying to yourself. I will tell you um, really quick, we might not even get into a power session because now I'm on a soapbox. Um, <laughs> um, I was talking with one of my, my friends, she's a hockey mom and, um, she was doing beach body for a little while and she was doing really good. And then she also had a Peloton bike before that. And so then she went back to Peloton and then she's kind of fell off for a little bit. And I said, like, let's talk. I will talk to you while I'm driving to go get the boys from school, whatever, get on the phone with her. And we caught up a little bit about hockey and the boys and stuff. And then she started like going into like what she's struggling with and blah, blah, blah. And she just kept saying, I'm lazy. I'm lazy. I can't do it because I'm lazy. And I don't want to cook because I'm lazy. And I do this because I don't do this because I'm lazy. And then, and then I go find something else to do because I'm lazy. And I'm like, you have to stop saying you're lazy. You might feel lazy right now, but you have to start empowering the steps that you want to take forward. So what does that look like in affirmation? I am currently working on improving whatever it is. You might not be able to say, 
I am motivated and working out every day because if that's not true to you, you're not going to believe it. If you don't feel that way and you say that to yourself, there's a disconnect there. So it's not going to empower you to take action, right? But if you're saying right now, I feel, but I am also working towards, or right now I feel, and I am, and put it in the blank, whatever the blank is to help you start changing your words. And it's not just words speaking, guys. It's that loop in your head. Clarissa has talked on that before. It is that loop in your head. And we get caught. And we have to learn to recognize to stop the loop and change what we're saying in our head. It's really easy to validate why we're stuck, why we feel like we're in a rut, why we feel like we're lazy, why we feel like we can't make this business work. But if we put in the work and we just take small steps each day consistently, because it takes consistency, right? It takes consistency over time, just like your nutrition and fitness. Like there is no better correlation. <laughs> like the, it is just like your nutrition and fitness. You are not going to outwork a diet. If you are not eating the right foods, you could work out until you're blue in the face every single day. It isn't going to matter. You still aren't going to have energy. Your muscles aren't going to recharge. Your cells aren't going to renew and you're going to feel like crap. So what we put in our mind is so, so important to empowering us to take those steps forward. So that's a little bit off of a tangent of, you know, getting stuck in that loop. Um, but does that kind of help like that? You're not just, you got to shut down that comparison game. You got to find who you are. Mia, you said something that was a little bit different than that. You said, um, I feel like people that are beach body MLM and they run, is there a way to just address that? Um, and just ease people's minds. Well, okay. So there's a couple things before I ask you a question. <sighs> People are going to see if you're real. So that's where consistency and time comes into play. Okay. Um, they want to know if you're just making a sale or if you are genuinely here. Because how many MLMs are out there and how many cold messages have you gotten of somebody almost going to, what Caitlin shared one the other day of this girl was going to make a, um, a, 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 her next rank advancement. Or it was totally serving her. It had nothing to do with Caitlin. People are shut off to that because of MLMs that teach things like that. It's not because of coaches like us. And I'm not going to say not beach body coaches because there are some out there that don't do it the right way. We can't control everybody. Um, but when you're having conversation, like, is it in conversation? Like somebody, you maybe message, like, how, what does that look like? Can you give us an example of what that looks like for you? So I think that because I'm, I'm also still first learning, like I'm trying to figure out and Caitlin, Caitlin's really helping me with like how to direct conversations. But I think that I, I may be jumping in the gun just a little bit. Um, like if, if, so I have a lot of people that have followed me for a really, really long time and they've seen that I've done health and fitness and stuff for years. Um, not with Beachbody. So like just myself, but I think that I, you know, somebody will say like the other day I had somebody say to me, um, Hey, you really inspired me to start like focusing on my nutrition. Um, even though I'm dealing with a knee injury and I know you're dealing with stuff that you can't work out right now. And it like inspired me to just focus on something else that I can control and all those other things. And I kind of, I didn't jump the gun on like, Hey, I'm doing beach body. But I, I said, you know, Hey, that's amazing. Um, I'm excited that you're doing that for yourself. And if you're looking for a group, you know, that can support you, you know, let me know and I can share the details with you. And I didn't really hear back from her. Um, but I think that like, 
I may have jumped the gun a little bit instead of just like talking about her and I'm very impatient and I like to like jump right on it. So, you know, I think it's just a little bit of like, okay, Mia, like give it time and just like develop. And Caitlin talked about it with me, like develop relationships with people. And I've known her for years and years and years. So like, I, I figured that was an okay thing to do. Like she's known, she knows me really well. Um, but yeah, I think that it's me jumping the gun a little bit and I'm kind of learning about that, but like, it seems a little bit like when people are like, yeah, what, you know, what are you talking about? What are you doing? And I say, well, I'm doing beach body and this is what, you know, is involved. And like, we have this great group of women. And like, that is why I really wanted to do this was because the support system and it's amazing. Like it's changed my mindset about getting back into it after I've had such a hard time. And people are like, yeah, that's a no for me. And so like, I don't, and I think I, because I was the same way, I'm not going to lie. Like I was the same way. I was like, I cannot, like I did beach body with Caitlin a year ago and I really enjoyed it and it was hard, but like, I saw myself as a hardcore, you know, I was doing, I was like training for powerlifting competitions and I was like, hardcore fitness person. And then I saw beach body. I was like, I don't want to do home workouts. Like I want to work out in my gym and I want to like do the things that I want to do. And I know how to work out and I'm not going to have anybody else tell me how to work out that type of thing. So, and I have a lot of people, you know, cause I was police officer. So I have a lot of fitness people that like follow me or friends with me. And so I think that they, they hear beach body and go like, it's going to be like a, a step class aerobics you know um and then they're just like yeah I already like work out so like I don't need like somebody to tell me how to work out and that's what goes through their mind first um and I think that what made me really jump into coaching this time was like I love 645 so much because there's like and I there I'm sure there's other programs but I love it so much because there's so much like weightlifting involved um Mm -hmm. so like I really believe in it and so like it's easier for me to talk about it because I believe in it. It's just hard for me to get past that barrier of like, I'm doing beach body because people hear beach body and they're like, yeah, I'm not going to just do like an aerobics class in my living room. Yeah. You okay. know? So there, there's a whole lot there. So I want to, I want to touch on that first and then go back. Okay. So, um, it's not necessarily probably beach body, but it's just that they're afraid that you're going to try and sell them when we drop beach body right away. I very rarely say beach body, like hardly ever, even in conversations. Um, unless somebody specifically says, do you, are you doing beach body workout? I very rarely say it. And it's not because I'm ashamed of beach body. It's because of the persona that people think I'm going to sell them. I want to get to the core of what they need and what they're looking for. If they even need me right now. So, um, with that, uh, the other thing I was going to say about that last part you were talking about is whatever for all of you, whatever your hesitation was before becoming a challenger and before becoming a coach, guess what hesitation you're going to get the most? The one that you had, because those are the people you're going to attract. But you know what? It makes it so much easier to handle because you've already worked through it. So you know what to tell them. So in that instance, Mia, what what I really love and I have used since I was a baby coach is when somebody gives me an objection about something Um, one, you're going to get them less, the more confident and the longer you're consistent. Okay. But when somebody does, um, I use feel felt found. I, you need to validate that they feel a certain way because they are allowed to feel a certain way. Okay. I understand that you feel that way. I actually felt very similar. And you can kind of tell them a little bit about what you felt, what your story was, what your background, what your hesitation was, if it's similar to theirs. What I have found is, and then you can share with them kind of the flip side. Like, what are you working towards? What are you enjoying? What what has you kind of in it? Okay. So that's if you get an objection. Um, But like for the person who reached out to you about nutrition, I would still follow up with that person another week and say, Hey girl, I just wanted to pop in and see if you're still doing good and still feeling good with your 
don't say anything about the groups. Don't say anything about, you know, inviting her. I think just check in with her and, and build that conversation. But when she messaged you initially, and this is for all of you guys, if somebody messages you and says, Hey, I see that you're doing blah, blah, blah. You inspired me to start, you know, watching my nutrition a little bit. I would say, that's awesome. I'm super proud of you because I know that that can be very challenging. Are you following any sort of meal plan? Are you just kind of trying to be more mindful? Start asking questions. I know as new coaches, we want to go, ah, yay, somebody messaged me. And it's so exciting because you, you know your intentions and you know how amazing the groups are and how life-changing it could be for someone else. But we have to kind of take a step back because they have no, they're like, we're here and they're over here. So we have to try and bridge that gap with conversation so that we come back to even playing level. Does that make sense? So we start asking questions. If you, you should have access to that PDF um, that I put in the group for new coaches. I put in our chat thread on Facebook. Did you save that PDF by chance? There is a link and it is also in the file section of the Living Healthy and Fit group on Facebook. It is, um, I think it's called Corey's Ultimate Inviting Script or Conversation Script or something like that. And I literally walk you through, and I made this like in 2017. And I, I mean, I've altered it slightly, but the gist of it is still the same to this day. It's literally after I get an invite or somebody messages me, if they say yes, I, this is what I say. If they say no, this is what I say. And it walks you through exactly what I ask people. And I ask questions in a way that avoid the objections. So for example, when I, and when somebody's interested in a challenge group or wants to learn more, I, I say, awesome. I would so love to give you more information, but it, it helps me to understand what you're wanting to work towards and some of your struggles before I kind of you know, give you more information. So that way we're clear. And I, you know, I'm giving you the right information and I'll ask what, you know, what are your goals? And can you tell me a little bit about them? They usually message me back and tell if they want weight loss or nutrition or whatever, more energy, whatever it is. And I say, awesome. I have no doubt that we can work towards that. When you try working towards those goals, do you find it more challenging to know what or how much to eat? Making time to work out or a little bit of both. And I didn't used to say making, but let's be honest, we're all very busy and that making time to work out instead of finding time to work out, guess what objection totally went away? Time. Because it calls the BS. We're all busy. We all have the same 24 hours in a day. So just little tweaks in your words like that make a huge difference when you're having conversations. And you guys, you like, you're not a failure because you got excited and, and you, you maybe said it, you said it in a way that you maybe won't again, but that's the lesson, right? It's just a lesson to learn and grow from. And I will, I, I say this all the time. You cannot say the wrong thing to the right person at the right time, you could totally word vomit on somebody. And if they're all in and they've been watching you, they're all in whether you word vomited on them or not, but you will never say the right thing to the wrong person at the right or at the wrong time. If they're not ready, if it's not in their head and they are not mentally prepared to push through the hard and face some challenges and get honest with themselves, I don't care if you tell them you'll give them a thousand dollars with the package. They, even if they do the package, they buy it, they aren't going to do it. It's going to sit there. And then you're going to feel like even more of a failure. Cause like, well, shit, I made her the sale and now I can't even get her to respond back or show up or whatever. Okay. So don't beat yourself up about it. Just know it was, it, it was an opportunity to learn and grow. And the more conversations you have, the easier it gets, the more fun it gets and the more seasoned you get with it. Okay. Does that help? Yeah. And Caitlin's great at conversations, obviously she's an open book. So, um, there's a couple other messages. Let me see. Yeah. So questions, you guys coming back with questions is how you take that breath 
just relax a minute and, and find out because if, if we just give them all the information, maybe that's not what they need. Maybe they don't need BOD. Maybe they really need to focus on nutrition. Maybe they need to do a lot of mindset work, but we aren't going to know how to best serve them until we ask the questions of what they're struggling with, what their goals are. Okay. Um, there is no failure, only feedback. Yes, 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 yes. First, what is it? First, oh, it's oh, gone away. First attempt at, what is fear? It's like first attempt at, I don't know. There is an acronym for that. That's like first attempt at something. It's gotta be an R, but I don't know what it, I can't think of what it is right now. Anywho. So hopefully that helps you. What? Attempt would have to be an E word. First effort or for F E A. Oh, so yeah, yeah, first yeah. E word F at. A first effort at. I don't know. I'm Mine just it posted it the other day. Yeah, look. <laughs> I can't. My brain's done. I'm sorry, you guys. It's just done. Does anybody else have any questions? Because now we don't have time to like dive into a power session, which is totally fine. False evidence appearing real sphere. I've seen that one before. Yeah. Maybe she did failure and it was first attempt something. Maybe, maybe In failure was something. Yeah, something. Anybody else? Thank you for trying to help me, Clarissa. Thank you for being my brains. <laughs> <laughs> no all right babe. Nap today so <laughs> well you're way ahead of me then, <laughs> I, know, I, I got to be girl. bedtime <laughs> <laughs> get it girl get it yeah <laughs> for real all right babes well if that's all you guys have for tonight just keep focusing on the small steps each day and they have to be consistent over time. Okay. We have to give ourselves time to progress, to learn and to grow. Okay. But keep the blinders on, ask questions. Let us know when you're feeling a little discouraged or maybe need a little bit of a boost. Um, I need all of this in some aspect. Thanks, Corey. Love you. I'm so glad you were here and I get to see your face for a second. Um, but if you need help or you're feeling kind of in your head, reach out. Even if it's not in the group thread, reach out to one of us and be like, I just need to like, Kate is very good at if she's having a bad day, especially with everything going on in her life. She will text Katie and I and be like, I'm just raising my hand to let y'all know I'm struggling today. And I just need you to know that so that you can send me some love, you know, like that's what we're here for. That's what this team is all about. So, um, and, and we understand that when, when you're stepping outside of your comfort zone, you're going to feel stretched. You're going to feel all of those things. And guess what? All of those doubts and fears are going to come flooding in real freaking hard because the universe is going, Hey girl, you said you want X, Y, and Z. Did you really mean it? Or are we just going to play in this comfort zone? Don't let the bullshit win. Just go after it. Get out of this and go for it. Okay. All right. I love you all. I'm going to have creepy.